constitution is a living document, it means that we can change Indian constitution at times. If the need arises, if at any time we feel that the uh, certain things are not going well in the country or new things are coming up, like for example, in earlier times uh, when a constitution was made, at that time there was no concept of you know artificial intelligence, there was no concept of you know uh, computer, uh, there was no concept of internet. So with the passage of time, we need to change the constitution. So there is a very well defined way to change the constitution and changing alteration, sub, uh, subtraction or addition of constitution is called amendment. And there is a particular article on that, that article is article 368. 368 article deals with the amendment. Okay. And I have told you that there are three categories of amendment. The members who are present in the parliament, for example, there are uh, 50 members, at least 25 members should, uh, should accept that bill. That is called simple majority. Special majority. Special majority means that no, in the house there should be two third majority. Two third majority. Two third majority should accept the uh, the, the the amendment. Okay, then only that bill passes. Another very important point is ratification. Yes. This is very important point. Five. States. Ratification by the states that India is a federal country. Okay, India is a federal country. Powers are divided between central and states. So states have their own powers. States, states have their own powers. So in any way, their powers cannot be infringed upon. Union list, we have state list, we have country, and in union list, the power. Uh, uh, is given to the uh, this uh, central government and in uh, union in, in state list the power is given to state governments and another is concurrent list in, in, in that category uh, power is given to both the but if there is confusion between the two whose will prevails the central government will prevail okay so if central government wants to change their powers then they have to seek the permission of state governments that is that is called ratification so in that case if we have to alter anything of the federal structure, if we want to reduce the powers of states, then we have to first do the two-third majority. We have to pass that amendment bill by two-third majority. Then we have to, you know, uh, move this bill to all the state governments. Okay, we have to send the bill to all the state governments and. The state governments, they should at least one half of the state legislature should accept that bill. And that acceptance of their bill is called ratification. So they should ratify the bill. Then the bill comes to the president. president. And if the president accepts the bill, that is called uh, that is called the ratification of the bill. So then only we can accept. You see how good system is there. Um, if there are some simple changes required to be done, then we can go for simple majority if there are some in between neither uh, very uh, important nor uh, very much maintained then there is um, uh, between a system that is called uh, special majority but if there are some difficult things we have we want to change a basic structure or something you know president's election or you know uh, changing the power structure then we have to seek the permission of state governments okay so uh, there are uh, how many changes have taken place in the constitution by uh, this amendment like how it has changed, how democracy changed the constitution. Number one is that there are certain uh, things like, you know, uh, some change of administrative nature. Simple things like uh, we have to enhance the age of, uh, retirement age of uh, this uh, high court judge. So it's a simple administrative. There is always tussle in India between the executive and judiciary, which you said that legislature, but the uh, legislature man power lies with the executive. So unke aapas mein jo tussle hai, us par bhi kuch amendment ho gaye. Unlike a government ne bola ki judiciary ko koi power nahi to dusre ne bola ki inko power hai ultimately is waqt jo is status quo hai that is ki that is jo jo high court hai they can change supreme court can change laws but they cannot change the basic structure of constitution as per the case in the bharti case okay another is that political consensus in parliament we have government as well as opposition as opposition the to opposition hamesha inko corner karte ye mat karo ye mat karo lekin koi aisi baat hoti hai ki for example hame ladkiyon ko education deni hai aap mujhe kya kahenge agar government bolegi ki ladkiyon ko education deni hai agar government bolegi ki sare bekar jo ladke hai ladke ladke hai graduate unko hum denge 10000 rupaye per month is par koi inkar karega to usko jab inkar nahi karega when nobody is denying the particular lesson that's called the legislation of consensus 